high fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching. And welcome to your daily love tarot messages here. Um, these are going to be general messages, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will uh, provide you with my email address below. So we'll give the cards a shuffle and see what they're predicting. And I am going to be using the Angel Answers, oh, Angel Answers um, Oracle cards as well. Answers have for you. Okay, you've got get more information for the world card. A year from now for strength and abundance for the Ace of Swords. Okay, um, some of you, you might be feeling like you want to end things with someone or something here. Um, the universe here is asking you to get a little bit more information here before you do. So some of you may be wanting to break up with someone or you're wanting to remove someone from your life here or you're wanting to remove yourself from this person's life. Um, it could also be that you're trying to connect with someone here. Maybe you're trying to connect with someone, not necessarily, you know, by a digital communication, but you're trying to connect with this person on a more um, intimate level and maybe it's not ha uh, maybe it's not necessarily happening in the way that you want it to happen um, and you're wanting to like uh, cut ties you know cut the cord uh, here but it's like you, you need to get a little bit more information here on your situation now for others of you I feel like this get more information here is in it, it ties in with a sense of closure here some of you I feel like you need to put something behind you. You need to, I feel like you need to tie up loose ends or you need to, um, it's like you need to close the book on a chapter here. But in order for you to do that, you need to get some information. So whether it actually means um, reaching out to someone and finding out, you know, why they did what they did or why they broke up with you or whether, you know, the two of you have um, anything left to work with here. But I feel like in order for you to truly end something or move on from something or someone or in order for you to really... Um, leave this person or this thing behind here you need to get more information about them or about the situation in general here because I feel like you there's something here you're, you're missing there's something here that maybe isn't being revealed to you or there's something here that I feel like um, maybe is being withheld from you now with the strength card, you've got um, the message a year from now. Okay, and that's that's really interesting. So when the strength card appears here, it, it's it's an indication that you're fueled by your inner strength here, by your personal power, by you know strong will and determination here. Um, it's about confidence. It's about that self belief here in yourself it's vitality here um, it tells you know it tells you that you have that inner strength something here is going to happen a year from now so for those of you that are going through a breakup here it's very likely that a year from now you'll be able to think about this person you'll be able to look back on this situation reflect on this situation and it won't hurt you the way it does now it won't weigh you down the way it does now and I know it feels like a year from now is such a long time and you probably just want to get there sooner here. But it's a, it's a journey. It's a process. Um, and for some of you, you're just only embarking on this journey. You're just only um, starting out here. I'm also seeing that there are certain events here that you may be going through which are really strengthening you. You feel like it's weakening you, so whether it's a breakup or a separation or whatever challenges or difficulties you're facing, you feel like it may be weakening you. It's not. It's strengthening you. And I feel like there's something here that comes together a year from now. You've got the globe, right? You've got the world here. And you've also have the world tarot here. 
So for some of you, I feel like, you know, you're, it's like an ending and beginning of cycles. A year from now, for some of you, you could find yourself in a very strong, healthy relationship, in a very strong, healthy partnership. Um, you could even be cementing a solidifying connection. For some of you, you will have truly healed from some sort of personal hurt here. So I feel like something here comes together in a very wonderful way. I'm inclined to say that there is, some of you might even meet your soulmate here who is going to strengthen, is going to strengthen you and your belief in love here. Mm. Now with the Ace of Swords here, you've got abundance here. So for a lot of you, I feel like there's some sort of breakthrough or a new beginning here that is going to bring a lot of abundance. For some of you, I feel like you're going to reach a breakthrough here, or you're going to be getting through here to finally you're getting through to your loved one, or there's a breakthrough in love, romance, in the partnership, in marriage, in a, um, a breakthrough in communication here, most importantly. Um, a new beginning, because Ace is usher a new beginning, so I feel like there's a new beginning here, and this new beginning in terms of love and rom uh, excuse me, romance, it is going to bring you in abundance now abundance could it's not necessarily linked to my material comfort or financial resources i mean it could be that that could be coming away as well let's not you know dismiss that but i feel like it's <clears throat> abundance in love and romance there's some sort of breakthrough okay now it could be an internal breakthrough some of you you could be experiencing some sort of internal shift or transformation <clears throat> sorry i'm losing my voice guys and it's this shift of transformation here that leads to a breakthrough, which then leads to abundance. Abundance in love, you know, prosperity in love. Abundance in romantic suitors. Abundance in emotional fulfillment, happiness here. For some of you, um, I also feel like you're abundantly blessed here. And when you focus on blessings or when you focus on um, when you focus on blessings or when you focus on ways to move forward and you know to, to progress here, I feel like the universe here makes sure you know it, it makes it tries to make sure that you're always blessed in abundance here. So right now, I feel like you have to be a little bit more patient because I feel like there are blessings that are coming your way here. There's an abundance of blessings that are coming away here, but you're just going to have to be a little bit more patient here. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. So thank you for watching and listening. I'll catch up with you um, tomorrow. Bye for now.